radiator opening uh, for Daytona. We're just putting some oil on the dock right now. We're about to form this piece. Okay, this is the part that's been pre-cut on the water jet, welded together. And this piece will uh, we'll put in the die, put some oil on it so it doesn't get bound up. And then we'll start hammering. We're going to press this into the die, and it should go down just far enough that we'll have enough to hammer over the edges, just like they're supposed to be. Like that. Got this cool air hammer. We're hammer this edge around. So we've got this edge laid down, but there's a little bump right there where it's not quite flat down onto the tool, so we're going to come in and just flatten it, make it a nice sharp corner. Now this tool here, both this part of the tool and this part together, bolts the piece in here, and then we can flip this over and hammer the other side around onto the tool. So, now we're on the, the other side, this is the, the uh, the nose, this is the inside towards the radiator, this is the outside. Um, we've got to sand these corners really nice because as we lay this over, we're stretching it very far. And, and if there are any uh, uh, scratches or gouges in this edge, if it's not perfectly smooth, then it tears. So we want to get it as smooth as we can so it doesn't tear. the front side, the nose, the tip of the nose, uh, the radiator inlet here. We're going to fold this edge over this radius on the tool. And then if you can see the edge of the die here, there's a, a lip around here that we'll hammer this onto and it'll give us a defining line where to cut this part. So this part will mate to this other piece. We should be able just to weld them together on those cut lines. take the die apart a little bit to get the part out of the die. There's the finished part. 